Learn to use the Leonardo AI Canvas Editor to get rid of image deformities, change scenes, add and erase objects, switch backgrounds and much more to your AI image generations or any image. Click on AI Canvas under User Tools and upload an image from your computer. In this image, we can see that the right hand looks deformed. Let's grab this box and bring it over that part also while adjusting the size of the image to fill the box. Now select the mask tool. Adjust the size of the brush and fill over the part you want to edit. Just describe your edit or what you want to replace it with. Make sure to specify in the negative prompt to avoid in this case extra fingers. Also if possible, be sure to select the model on which the image was generated originally. Mine was on Dreamshaper V7. This way the edit matches the original image style. Make sure to toggle out paint off for now. Select the number of results you want and click generate. Great, let's accept this one. And our hand is fixed. You can also play around to change the expression. I want to close her mouth, so we'll make an edit and specify it in the prompt as well as the negative prompt to eliminate any undesirable results. Voila! We have learned to fix deformities. For adding objects, let's delete this image and upload another, selecting one from our previously generated pics. Now let's bring the box where we want to add, let's say a mic. Draw a mask outline of a mic and type it in the prompt box. Select 3D animation style model to suit the original image. Click generate. We can see it has added the mic. Now let's erase objects with another example. Here's a beautiful artwork I generated on Leonardo AI. Let's say I don't want the boat and try to remove it like what we have learned till now. Typing what we want to replace it with doesn't work since the structure is still inside the scene. It has a hard time removing it. So just select the eraser and select only images to erase the boat and try the same prompt again. It has removed it perfectly. Let's use the same technique to remove a sword from a viking's hand using simple prompts and the erasing tool. You can use the same for generating completely new backgrounds as well. But what if we want to extend an image? It's simple. Increase the size of the box equal to the image using these sliders. Bring the box a little outside the image so half remains in and half is out. Remember how we turned out paint off? We'll now turn it on. It basically means we now want the changes done outside the image. Type in the background style of the image in the prompt and generate. We can see our image is now extended. In the scope of this tutorial, I have only covered in paint and out paint because I believe it's all you need for any application in the editor. If you like the images I've showcased here, then make sure to comment prompts for a cool prompts tutorial. See you in the next one.